Oh, here we are at East Life Regenerative Center, home of Sunfire Culinary Institute. And we're about to do it live and real here. Of course, we got to have this one live and real because this is the Paradise Pie, the star of the show, the Sunfire show. So Paradise Pie, we're hooking up first with the pie crust. So the pie crust, almonds, and walnuts is the base of the pie crust. Now, these are not just just not any whole type of almonds and walnuts. These are almonds and walnuts that were soaked. Soaked for 12 hours, <coughs> drain, rinse, and after we rinse them, we put them in a dehydrator. So they've been activated. The enzyme and enzymes have been removed. We dehydrate them so they're ready to go for instant pie crust. So we're going right into our food processor with them. First, we're going to grind our walnuts and uh, let's grab our measuring cup here. Uh, let's see here. We got the one cup measurement coming up. So we're going to pour two cups of walnuts to get us started. And we're going to do some almonds, but we're going to grind them separately. So first we get our walnuts and we grind them Okay, I mean, look at that, nice, soft, fluffy meal, you know, it's not the dry meal because they, they were pre-soaked, they were activated, so they're sprouted nuts, so they're ready to really just go and do exactly what we need them to do. Now, we're going to grab a bowl, you know, welcome to our kitchen here, we got everything at our fingertips, so this is the Sunfire Teaching Kitchen, so we keep our bowls under here. So we want you to get the real life experience because we want you to learn how to do kitchen management as well when you hang out with us here on the Sunfire Culinary Institute experience. So there's our two cups of ground walnuts. Then we can set back up and let's go with our almonds this time. We're going to grind two cups of almonds. Again, these were soaked for 12 hours, dehydrated, and they're ready to go to get this exciting pie crust going on. Okay, our almonds are ground, nice and smooth. You know, but we don't want them too fine. We do want to have a little coarseness to it so the crust can have uh, a bite to it, you know? We don't want it to be like a flour crust here. So here we go, our two cups of almonds mixed in with our two cups of walnuts. Now, we're gonna jam it now. <laughs> we're gonna come up with the strawberry jam. So the strawberry jam, here we go, with our fresh strawberries straight from our organic uh, farmer here right up in the mountains of Costa Rica, above the clouds. This is where we are. Uh, so one cup of fresh organic strawberries, and please take note with the green leaves and all. We are not gonna sacrifice those minerals in those greens just for strawberry red ecstatics. Here we go. Let's get our chopper blade right off in there as well. And we're gonna put some uh, dates. Now what we're going to do, because we're going to use this jam for the crust and the filling, we want to make some extra jam. So we want to really, really jam this one here. So what we're going to do is keep aside a few of our strawberries for the garnish. Yeah. And along with those two cups of strawberries, we're going to put some dates. So we have our pitted dates all ready to go. So let's go ahead and get our measurement here for our dates. So good. We have one solid cup of pitted dates going in with those two cups of strawberries in the filling. And for this portion, we're going to use one teaspoon of cinnamon powder straight into our food processor. And let's go ahead 
and make it sing here. So, as my brother Stevie Wonder says, we're jamming. <laughs> our food processor, clear the sides, and we're going to keep jamming. We're going to keep grinding this one down here. And don't be shy about making too much jam, okay? You never have enough when it comes to the jam, because what you don't use today, you can put away for tomorrow. You could use it on your crackers and wherever you want to jam something nice. Strawberry jam is ready for you. Pineapple jam, papaya jam, mango jam, blackberry, blueberry, peach jam, apricot jam. Now, who needs to go buy those sugar jams for the children? We got our own fresh jam right here. And strawberry is our sweetener. The A sweetener number one. Because strawberry, as opposed to raisins or other dried fruits, does not have a distinctive flavor of its own. It is 95% sugar. So... Let's jam some more. Yeah, it looks like we got it going on. Or you just want that moisture to hold things together. And of course, you know, with that binding sweetness of the strawberry and dates, you know, this makes it happen. So one half a cup of our strawberry jam, mixing with the walnuts and the almond, and this is it here. Now what we're going to do is set these little guys aside, and I'm going to put on a pair of gloves here. Actually, one glove is, is more than enough so that I can put more love in it for you. So, let's get, get hands on, or better yet, hands in. So this is how we do it here, to put our crust together, to hold it together with that nice, strawberry jam effect. Okay, so here we go. All right. So our crust is mixed. And now what we're ready to do, actually this is, at this point, it's not even a crust. What this is, is the dough. <coughs> the dough for the pizza crust. So we're going to take this dough and roll it out. We grab a couple of sheets of wax paper. Now this, if you put it on your scale, this is supposed to weigh one pound, two ounces. 18 ounces. So you want to put me to the test? Ah, uh, I don't have a scale already for that. So I passed the test though, believe me, it's one pound, two ounces. And that, in a nine inch pie dish, you roll it out, you get the perfect thickness. You use all of that and you have your thickness to perfection. So here we go, little secrets, tips from grandma's kitchen. <laughs> yeah, bringing it all home to you from my grandma to you with love. So that's how I learned, hanging out with my mother and my grandmother in their kitchens. My mother was a great cake maker, cake decorator, and of course she made those pies. Sweet potato pie to say the least, uh, apple pie, 
pumpkin pie. You know how they did it, home style. So here, with our rolling pin, roll the crust out, and we got it rolled just to the right level. I like to, because the, the bottom sheet usually is a little crinkled up. So I flip it over, get that bottom out, so this part becomes the bottom of the pie crust. So we take our pie dish, nine inch pie dish, and before we flip that dough into it, we're gonna oil it. So we're putting a little olive oil just to coat the dish so that the dough doesn't get stuck on there. Get your crust out. Now we just flip it right over, drop it in, move that sheet, and we just press. Rotate and press. Now we trim the, the, the excess from where there's too much and move it along to where we need some. So it's a flaky crust. That's why you see it's, it's just flaking, <laughs> you know. So we wanted to make it that way. This is definitely on intention. And uh, we just do the finish hand press here. Let's get some of this excess from here and bring it here to where we need some. Let's get this little bit over here. Bring it up. So this is how we do it. Rotating that dish and just pressing it in gently. So once you have gotten to this state and you press it in, let's get all the little little bit of crumb here. We gotta get that crumble back in the mix here. So it's a crumb crust, <laughs> one that crumbles just on the touch. You know, so it's a light, fluffy, not a dense, typical uh, what they call raw food crust. <laughs> this is not raw food, this is a raw food, sun food crust. Because of course, these ingredients were all cooked by the sun. The great chef, Ra, <laughs> the he shiro of cuisine, my cuisine, you know, does all the cooking for everybody on the planet every day. So here now, we have our pie shell. The pie shell is ready to receive. It's papaya time. So you know papaya is a superior food. So we have left superfoods behind. <laughs> We're in the age of superiority. So you want superior food. Superfoods come nowhere close to papaya based on its healing vibration. Look at that. Isn't that love? That's real love right there. So the embrace, the energy, hey, you know, uh, yin yang, yang yin, you call it what it is. We are going to now go ahead and remove the seeds from our papaya. So you get a spoon and you just pull the strings that have the seeds attached to them. <coughs> So this is it. Gently get that string out with all those seeds on them. And then we're going to move on to slicing our papaya, peel and slice, so that we can get it ready to lay it in our pie shell. So papaya is loaded with papain. Papain is the most powerful digestive enzyme known to humans. Papain is that white milk, that white sap that you see in the green papaya. I mean, the whole papaya tree is full of papain. You break a papaya leaf and you see that white milk comes out. That is papain. That is digestive enzyme. It is so powerful, you would find it even in all of your meat tenderizers because it tenderizes meat. Tell you, without papaya, God bless papaya. <laughs> that meat would choke you to death because there's no other tenderizer that matches, you know, the power of 
the papaine enzyme that is found in papaya. So here we go to the rescue. Papain breaks down fat, breaks down old tough decayed protein. So we want you to eat as much papayas as you can enjoy. And you know papaya is one food that, you know, you, it goes beyond enjoyment. It's full enjoyment. So you will definitely full joy not only the pleasure and the ecstasy of eating the delicious food, but the nutritional and healing value of the papain enzyme is unmatched. So you will definitely full joy those benefits. So you see how easy and gentle it is to peel. You just glide that knife right under the skin and most definitely you do want to have your papayas uh, nice and ripe and ready. This is how your papaya needs to be looked. That's when you know it's ripe and ready. Color, yellow, real bright energy sunshine color. So a lot of the papain in the green papaya <coughs> went into basically ripening it. That's what even ripens the papaya, turns it from green to yellow. So now it is now sugar. A simple carbohydrate that the body don't have to do anything to utilize. Because papaya is self-digestive, if you know what I mean. The body's digestive system does not need to be activated to work with papaya. So when you buy a digestive enzyme, you just buy papaya. <laughs> but better off, eat your papayas, and even the green papaya, enjoy them. Just take the green papaya and run it through your juice extractor. Skin, seeds, and all. Juice the entire green papaya, and you have a papain factory. Put all of that into your system and you are perfect to go in terms of uh, breaking down old crusted decayed protein that's been laying in your system for 20, 30, 40 years. You know, that breathing cancer vibration, you know, of rotten carcass, you know, animal flesh that the body just cannot get out of the system efficiently. With our digestive intestinal tract, which is over 32 feet long, it takes a long time for some old meat. Well, the meat gets old in the process of going through that transit system. So unlike carnivores, the human digestive system is just too long. Imagine if you are, say, six feet tall, give you a little advantage. I'm a shade on the six feet, 5'11". Imagine my digestive system is five times, at least five times the length of my body. So that intestinal tract down there, psh, winds and turns and coils. So imagine the time it takes for animal flesh to transit through there two and a half days for the average meal that you consume. So after 30, 40 years, you are backed up with undigested animal protein. So we're going to go next here and we're going to drop it. We're going to fill the pie shell with our papaya and strawberry jam. So see you in a moment. Our sliced papaya and just drop it right in to the pie shell. So you gotta watch this now. Some people say my hands are faster than your eyes, so don't go to sleep on me. Don't blink. Uh, we're gonna just spread this here. So we spread it right around, just in a fan, in a shell shape. See that fan? All right. Now we're gonna get the other half of our papaya here and do the same thing. Drop it in, lay it down, and fan. So, you see what we've got here. Now I want you to take a, a good look, because 
this is strictly Feng Shui. So we got our yin yang papaya balance. As it is on one side, so it is on the other. This is how we do it. Now we're going to jam this with our strawberry jam. So let's get, we're getting about the equivalent of about three quarters of a cup of our strawberry jam that we're going to just put up right on this layer of sliced papaya. So we just spread that in and put some pressure on the fan so those papayas lay down. So this is how we do it live from the Sun Fired Culinary Institute above the clouds in Tinamaste, uh, Diamond Valley, Costa Rica at the Aris Life Regenerative Center. So many of you, I know you pie crazy. <laughs> so you got to come home though. But we're giving you this little hint because this is here part of what's going on with our recipe book. And here we go. So we got the first layer right down there. Now we're going to get uh, more papaya for the top layer. So we're going to drop that right over here. See, right in the crossroad. You know, it's about balance and science and chemistry and, you know, wow, what else? Geometry as well. Now, the bottom layer we fan to my left. The top layer we're going to fan to my right. Okay, so we're coming this way now. Okay, we lay it this way and we just spread it. Just fan it. Just put that pressure on it <coughs> and let it lay down. This is how we lay it down here. Now we're going to get the other half of papaya. And I'm going to put this one in my hand, show you a different technique. We fan it right in the hand, and we're going to come from right here, drop it, and fan as we lay in it. So here we go, just like that. Put that pressure on there, and we have our strawberry papaya pie second tier filling. Mm. Hydration, hydration. Day 69. On average, I've been doing about two quarts of coconut water a day. Quart of fruit juice in the morning with a quart of coconut water. Quart of coconut water in the afternoon with a quart of vegetable juice. But hey, you know, this is a live session. And my whole 71 days has been a live thing. So depending on where I am, what I drink, how much coconut water or not, how much fruit juice or not, and, you know, vegetable juice. I'm stingy on the vegetable juice. You know me. I run on sugar. So just enough vegetable juice so I can get to sleep. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm flying high constantly with all my fruit juice. Now, we're going to go ahead and jam our top layer here with a little more jam. So we put about a half a cup on the bottom layer. On the top layer, it's about a quarter cup of jam that, that's going in on the top layer. We're putting pressure on this. So watch it now. <laughs> See how we do it? So, you know, hey, I don't know. This is probably pie number 5,000, so don't be fooled. I may, look at, may have it looking easy, but I'm sure your first paradise pie is going to be better than my first one. My first one, I tried to make a banana pie, and it ended up being a banana pudding, <laughs> I tell you. But I know, just with you watching me, <coughs> this free video clip right here, live on Facebook, your first drop should be definitely better than my first drop. We're going to go ahead and get some strawberries in here. So, so we have saved three beautiful strawberries for our garnish. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut these uh, leaves off. You know, we, leave, we use the leaves. Yeah, we use the leaves. And you know what we're going to do, you know, as a garnish here with the leaf, we're going to put a little olive oil. So we just put a little olive oil on there. And oops, we want this side of the leaf up because we want the aesthetics. We want that little white spot in there. Hey, see that? This is how we do it. So we're going to get this other leaf here. And we're going to put this one 
right here in the middle. And we got another one right here. And it's coming right here on this side. So here we are for our garnish. And then our strawberry. We're going to cut each strawberry in four. And then we're going to drop that right around and crown it. So this is our strawberry crown for our paradise papaya strawberry pie. So we'll start from this line, one up on there, one up on here, and we go the same thing on this line from here, one up, one up, and we got another one up over here, and another one up over here. So it's all about balance and aesthetics. Now we can go ahead and drop in over here, and uh, you know, let's get the right size in the proper place. And this is how we do it above the clouds, Diamond Valley, Costa Rica. So, Paradise Pie Lovers, Papaya Strawberry on the case. Here you go with an almond walnut crust. So, my people out there, looking forward to see you in the house. Just go to sunfired.com and it will bring you to Ariso. Right there, you're going to get all the information you need. So, arisoul.com got all the information you need to come on home. And those of you, hey, in Bookland, who have gotten this book and you got this video insert with it, this is how we do it. Looking forward to sharing with you live in person as well. So, Paradise Pie, hey, you can have your pie and eat it too, guilt-free. This is it. Decadence at its best, all the way live from the Sunfire Culinary Institute above the clouds, Diamond Valley, Costa Rica. Bless up.